The sun is shining brightly here in the picturesque Finger Lakes region of central New York in the tiny village of Watkins Glen. Once a year, the peace and tranquility here is shattered by the thunderous roar of race engines as the stars and cars of NASCAR come to compete at historic Watkins Glen International. For the third time in 2009, but only the second time in the 27 year history of NASCAR, rain forced a 24 hour postponement of the event here at the Glen. But folks, here's the good news. The track is dry, the cars are all lined up, and as you can see, the drivers are standing by as we are set for live Sprint Cup competition here on a Monday. And if what we saw last Monday at Pocono after having to wait 24 hours is any indication, this one should be fun to watch. So crowds are gathering on pit road as we get set to go trackside for opening ceremonies. Race fans presenting the colors today is the U.S. Air Force 113th Recruiting Squadron from Geneva, New York. And at this time, would you please rise and remove your hats for our invocation by Reverend David Fife from the Bentley Creek Wesleyan Church. Let us pray. Thank you once again, Lord, for this opportunity to run the hell of a good sour cream dips at the Glen. Thank you for the rain last night giving us a safe service. We ask your protection upon each driver, each crew member, and each official. Lord, grant us a safe race and help us to remember that all good things come from you. Amen. And now for our national anthem, please welcome Ms. Lindsay Gerhardt. Great set, oh. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled Despite the delay, good crowd coming back here on a Monday to watch their favorite NASCAR Sprint Cup Series drivers. And now the drivers will get into their cars and get cinched up and prepare for what should be an afternoon of exciting road course racing here at Watkins Glen. NASCAR Sprint Cup Series at Watkins Glen International is brought to you by Carfax and Old Spice Swagger, the scent that makes a difference. Teams are ready, so let's get some of the top stories of the day. First, here's Dave Burns. And, Doc, I have a feeling I'll be spending a lot of time in the Jimmy Johnson pit today. They qualified fastest on Friday. They're in the first pit stall on pit road. Those are both advantages that this team can use to give their driver his first road course victory. Jamie Little. Dave, the top qualifier in my section in pit road today is Tony Stewart. You know he's a three-time winner here at the Glen, and he starts a lucky number 13. Darian Grubb, his crew chief, said these kind of conditions play right into Tony's hands. You know he's a road course ringer. He is the man when it comes to a track that is hot and slick like we're going to have today. We'll see if he can get his first road course win as a team owner. Shannon Spake. Jamie, I'll be keeping my eye on Juan Pablo Montoya and the 42 team who are fresh off their season's best finish of second last week at Pocono. Now, while Montoya has been proving that he can get it done on an oval, some look to his past road course experience to make him a favorite here today. Crew chief Brian Patty told me this weekend they've been very happy with his brand new car. And while they're still searching for their first win, they're sticking to the chase plan which is a top nine here today. Vince. 
I'll be checking regularly with the 47 of Marcos Ambrose, who starts fourth. His confidence is at an all-time high after winning the NASCAR Nationwide race here on Saturday, the second straight year in which he's won here at the Glen. Ambrose looks to turn that momentum from Saturday's win into his first Sprint Cup victory here today. He's been one of the best all weekend long, and Ambrose isn't going to make the chase, so he'll go for broke to make it to victory lane today. Doc? Thank you, Vince. Uh, the drivers are buckled up and ready, each believing that they will be the man here on a Monday at Watkins Glen. We have had 26 races at Watkins Glen over the years. There have been 16 different winners. Six of those winners are entered here today. As we get set to go trackside to get the command to fire them up. Race fans, it is time for the most famous words in motorsports. Welcome back your Grand Marshal, Mr. Scott Blake. Race fans, are you ready? On behalf of Hell of a Good and all its employees, drivers, start your engines! Happy. Very good. Fire them up, you want to do. Just make sure it'll start. As soon as it starts, just shut it back off. Yeah, I got you. Engines have fired and uh, the window that's going up momentarily. These cars will be set to roll off of pit road on what is the first of a couple of pace laps. Hello everyone race fans glad to have you with us. I'm Jerry Punch along with Dale Jarrett and Andy Petrie here at Watkins Glen on a Monday and we had yes a lot of rain here on Sunday so all that rubber has been washed off the racetrack a green racetrack and it is also very hot and humid for these drivers DJ how must they adapt. Well it's a completely different racetrack than what they've seen in their practice session so that's what they're going to have to do is adapt to it probably not going to be able to get to that breaking point they were in practice just going to have to kind of take things easy here they're going to be working saw on the steering wheel quite a bit here these drivers are going to earn their money on this hot and slick racetrack. And one thing that hasn't changed, it is still a 90 lap price, which means pit strategy and fuel strategy, very important to calculate. Okay, crew chief, explain to us how you do that. Ah, uh, the pit strategy on a road course looks very simple on paper, 90 lap race. And let's say you go 35 laps, which is about an average. That means you'll make your last pit stop on lap 55. And if you can go 35 laps, then you'll make your first pit stop on lap 20. Now, where it gets tricky is you get about twice the fuel mileage under caution than you do under green flag conditions. So the crew chiefs will be trying to predict just how far that they can go based on how many caution laps that they think that we'll get. So uh, that, that's where it gets tricky and it gets kind of risky for the crew chiefs to make that call, but you have to do it to be successful here. Did you ever think in the second grade when they taught you to count backwards, it would help you be a better crew chief? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you got to do here at Watkins Glen on a lot of road courses. And we'll be riding along with this guy. What a special day he had here on Saturday and one year ago. Our in-race reporter is all Australian driver Marcus Ambrose who came oh so close to winning this race last year.